I like saying hello to people, saying good morning to people, people here at church, people I meet, but also just as I walk down the street. I like making eye contact and saying hello, good morning, and in this season, happy Christmas to people. And one of the things that saddens me so much is that many people don't even look up. Many people don't acknowledge that I've said hello to them. Now, maybe a couple of people are deaf, maybe a couple of people don't understand English, but most people just don't seem to respond. I wonder what is going on for them that they are so withdrawn into themselves that they would not receive a greeting from another human being. It's, you know, we're taught as kids to you know, be careful of strangers, and I get that. But to say hello to a stranger on the street is actually a great act I think of, of civil society and social cohesion that we actually would care about and be connected to other people. I notice more and more people walk along with headphones in their ears or on their ears. More and more people walk along with their phones in front of them, actually looking at their phone, not looking up at the world around them or any other human being. I think that's a great sadness about our culture. You know, um, lockdown, COVID lockdown did, did us no favours in isolating us from each other. We were told to stay away for a while, but you know, we've got to get over that. We've got to actually move to a place where we acknowledge and engage with our fellow human beings, our fellow citizens, but especially here in church. Church is a place where relationship, fellowship, communion are mandatory. There is no just coming to Mass and being on my own. We can come to a church and have a quiet prayer on our own, that's absolutely, and the quiet individual prayer life takes place in the quiet spaces of our room and our heart, definitely. But church is also about engagement. It's about community, and that means it's got to be about welcome, though we would welcome others, you know, and, and, and that means mean going, maybe stretching ourselves. If we're not a naturally extroverted person, if we're not naturally kind of engaging, it's, it means going, stretching ourselves. That's okay. We can go beyond our natural tendencies because we're talking about church about things which are supernatural, the grace of God working in us to, to lead us beyond ourselves to greet another person in the name of Jesus. Because the Christmas season, as we'll see in our scriptures today and these days ahead, shows a wonderful contrast of hospitality, of Mary and Joseph, of them making their way to Bethlehem and beyond, where there were some people who showed them no hospitality, of course, most famously, no room for them at the inn. Later, and later, of course, the hostility from, from Herod that made them flee. But there are also great moments of beautiful hospitality engagement woven into the Christmas story. Think of Elizabeth greeting Mary so joyfully as Mary comes to visit her. Think of Mary and Joseph welcoming these, these uh, raggedy, this raggedy bunch of shepherds into, into their, pretty much their birthing suite, welcoming these strangers who are so overjoyed about this baby they've just heard about. Mary and Joseph offered hospitality to them. Later on, it would be Simeon and Anna in the temple who would offer hospitality to Mary and Joseph as they, as a young couple, arrived in this big, this big temple to offer their sacrifice to the newborn child. I imagine they were young and afraid, not knowing where to go, and this lovely old couple, Anna and Simeon, come over and welcome them. So hospitality is both given and withheld in the, Christ in the Christmas story. Here in our church, I hope that we won't be withholding hospitality. I hope that you will take the opportunity to say hello to a stranger in the car park, in the pews next to you, on the way into and out of the church. Just say hello, because to do so acknowledges the innate dignity of every single human person. And that's a very Christmas thing to do, because Christ, by entering into our humanity, has given a dignity to our humanity, a dignity that the world does not always accept, but he wants, to, but he wants to us to have. So for us to simply acknowledge a stranger as another child of God and to offer them a simple welcome and our, and our greeting is a very Christmas thing to do. And I invite you, I challenge you, please do that this Christmas. Today we have this, this one single day for this, this last Sunday of Advent. Practice today at church so we're ready tomorrow at, at Christmas to welcome strangers so they too may know that they are welcome into the Christmas story and the community of our church. God bless you. Happy Christmas.